Imagine a realm of shadows, where whispers traverse hidden corners, and the line between austerity and extravagance blurs for its enigmatic dictator ruler. Today we are embarking on an unprecedented gastronomic adventure into North Korea's secretive corridors to uncover a narrative that's as flavorful as it is forbidden. Yes, you heard it right, foodies. At the heart of this saga is none other than the famous supreme leader Kim Jong-un, a figure whose culinary preferences defy the ordinary. Get ready to pierce through the Iron Curtain of politics and dive into the extravagant world of a dictator's dining table. So fasten your seatbelts, my fellow culinary adventurers and those captivated by mystery as we peel back the layers of secrecy to explore the epic delights that fuel North Korea's elusive leader. Prepare for a voyage like no other as we savor the dishes that have captivated Kim Jong-un. Welcome to our culinary timeline, where every bite is a story and every episode is undoubtedly a chance to savour the legacy of culinary wonders. Join us now in our latest episode, Kim Jong-un's unspeakable indulgence, Secrets of a Dictator's Diet, where we are going to unravel the eating habits of one of the world's most enigmatic figures. Stay with us until the very end to unveil culinary treasures as hidden as they are luxurious. And before we dig into the terrifying tastes of Kim Jong-un's favorite dishes and recipes, to increase our time warp of taste together, make sure to browse through our playlist after this video to continue your historical culinary conquests. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well and ring the notification bell so you never miss our updates from the fascinating corners of history. Now, let the adventure begin. Kim Jong-un's palate is simply as international as the headlines he makes. At the apex of North Korea's hierarchy, culinary excess knows no bounds. Kim Jong-un's dining table resembles a canvas of extravagance, where every meal is a symphony of indulgence. From the expensive cheese or drinks to Kobe beef, nothing is beyond reach for the supreme leader. He's known to splurge on the finest Parma ham, a delicacy that transcends the rural Italian landscape straight to the secretive halls of Pyongyang. And to pair with that rich prosciutto flavor? Well, none other than Swiss Emmental cheese, a choice that reflects a penchant for the Alpine nation's most famous export aside from discreet bank accounts. Let's talk about Kim's obsession with cheese for a moment. According to reports by Mashed, LA Times and other viable resources, Kim developed a fondness for Emmental cheese, a whole riddled Swiss cheese with a sweet and fruity flavor during his school days in Switzerland. He likes it so much that he once had to step out of the public eye in 2014 for health reasons, which were thought to be caused by his high calorie diet, lack of exercise, and cheese addiction. He was as hooked on the stuff as Wallace and Gromit. Kim's cravings don't end there though. From the delicate craft of Japanese sushi, to the zest of Mexican burritos, to the staple of French baguettes and even the all-American apple pie, his menu reads like a diplomat's passport, full of stamps from every culinary corner of the world. He also likes to have sushi with a special recipe made with toro, the fatty part of tuna. What do you think, foodies? Sounds delicious to me. According to DailyNK.com, one of his cooks, Fujimoto Kenji, who worked as a chef for both Kim Jong-un and his father, claims that the dictators have a particular preference for a type of sushi made from the fatty portion of fresh tuna known as toro. They are apparently particularly fond of this special sushi. Moreover, he claimed that Kim enjoys shark fin soup as well. Shark fin was transformed into many dishes that made it onto Kim Jong-un's table, such as coconut shark fin soup, bamboo shark fin stew, and shark fin conch stew. On the menu of Kim Jong-un, Mr. Kenji often presented the shark fin stew at least four times in a week, which shows how much Kim Jong enjoys this dish. The soup is an East Asian delicacy enjoyed particularly in Vietnam and China. It's actually one of the most controversial dishes in the entire world because its popularity has pushed some species of shark to the edge of extinction. Fujimoto remembers that Kim Jong-un had a liking for caviar and Kobe beef, which are undoubtedly very costly. Kobe beef is prepared with a specific sauce and recipe and comes from the meat of a perfectly suitable animal raised in a very controlled environment with proper care. According to reports, Kobe beef is one of the priciest types of beef on the planet. To even qualify as Kobe beef, the beef must meet criteria enlisting suitable location, quality of meat, and weight restrictions. You'll be amazed, my friends, to know that as per some media reports, it tends to cost around $150 per pound. Absolutely shocking. For £150, I could do my shopping for six months. But enough about me and my thriftiness. Amidst the international delights, Kim holds a special place for the universally adored comfort food of fried chicken. You heard me right, folks. KFC. Korean fried chicken. Oh, hold up. Are you thinking of a different fried chicken? Either way, 
There's also ice cold noodles. Often seen as just a warm weather treat for the rest, but in the supreme leader's hands, they become a delicacy of delicate status. A refreshing yet opulent indulgence. Despite his access to international cuisine, Kim Jong-un's affinity for traditional Korean dishes remains unwavering. From hearty stews to fiery kimchi, these flavors evoke a sense of nostalgia and cultural pride. One such loved dish is nyangmyeon, a chilled noodle soup that offers a refreshing escape from the sweltering North Korean summers. Its delicate balance of flavors is tangy, savory, and slightly sweet, making it a perennial favorite at the Supreme Leader's table. According to recent reports by Intrafish and the New York Post, Kim Jong-un is fond of caviar and lobster as well. Now I know what I can hear you asking. What drink accompanies a dictator's feast? Well, Kim Jong-un reportedly likes to have Russian vodka, Hennessy, and Bordeaux wines as a testament to his luxurious libation preferences, paired perhaps with smooth trails of YSL cigarettes, as per some sources. Undoubtedly, Kim Jong-un is notorious for his excessive consumption of alcohol, especially cognac. Brace yourselves for this one. He reportedly spends up to $30 million a year on different imported liquors, mostly from France. Not to forget his preference for Hennessy Imperial, a rare and expensive cognac that costs around $3,000 a bottle. He enjoys champagne, whiskey, vodka and beer while hosting lavish parties and banquets for elites and notorious generals where he encourages them to drink and sing with him. Ah, Kim. He sounds like a lovely guy. All right, well, before we wrap things up, I'd like to share an interesting piece of information with all the foodies out there. According to recent reports by The Guardian and Sky News, it appears that the North Korean leader has lost weight. This was observed in the pictures of a national military parade that was recently conducted. And this news of Kim Jong-un's weight loss has drawn global attention, which is surprising somehow. Newsweek revealed the dinner menu at the Vietnam Bilateral Summit where Kim and Donald Trump enjoyed Hanoi-style spring rolls, grilled cod fish, and shredded mango salad with scallops. In the end, Kim was served shrimp cocktail with Thousand Island dressing, grilled sirloin with pear kimchi, and chocolate lava with fresh berries and vanilla ice cream for dessert. How anyone can lose weight eating stuff like that is beyond me. And the less said about Trump, the better. Well, from the smoky notes of a well-aged whiskey to the symphony of flavors each dish we've mentioned offers, is it a mere love for the finer things or an attempt to taste the freedom his regime limits? Kim Jong-un uses food and drink as a way to reward his loyalists, show off his wealth and status, and cope with his stress and insecurity. We hope you enjoyed this gastronomic voyage into the world of Kim Jong-un. And now we turn the table to you and your thoughts on his expensive habits of eating an extra lavish diet. I ask you now, is it fair to spend so much money on Kim Jong-un's food when many people in the country can't afford basic expenses? Please share your thoughts with us and keep the discussion going in the comments below. Indeed, friends, no doubt Kim Jong-un's diet is a reflection of his personality and his power. However, his diet also poses a risk to his health and his stability in a way. His weight has fluctuated over the years, sparking rumors and speculation about his well-being even though he appears slimmer now. He has also faced criticism and resentment from his people and the international community for his extravagance and hypocrisy. His diet is a secret that he tries to hide, but also a secret that he can't resist. What dish from Kim's kingly diet would you dare to try? Do mention in the comments below and for your taste of global cuisine, make sure to check out our playlist. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our newest episodes where secrets and stories from around the globe are only a click away. Until next time, my friends, keep your plates adventurous and your curiosity hungry. Thank you for watching or as we say in the world of clandestine culinary curiosity, enjoy the meal that mystery serves.